Alright guys, we got a special video today. We're in quarantine, so this is gonna be different than what I'm used to doing, which is, you know, reviewing places. But yeah, we got a homemade bowl of pho here, and we're about to mukbang for you guys. Some content is better than no content, so we'll see how you guys respond to this. Made by my mom, the special chef over there. How does the chef like the pho? Hmm. Oh, I like it. I cook, man. It's good? Good. So yeah, we're about to eat some pho, pho shizzle. Got the rare steak. Just chuck around, I think. The well done brisket, beef. And a special oxtail on the side. Yum. Since it's too big, we keep it on the side, but then you want to eat it, you dip it in the broth mm. so let's see you gotta taste the pho first to see how it is mm. Mm. yeah very medium brothy but i want to put a little bit of hot sauce in there i'm gonna get a little poison sauce in there let's see let's see Yum. Mmm. Nothing like mom's homemade pho. This is a well done brisket right here. Mm. A lot like a lot of protein in my bowl. So we load it up with meat. A lot of rare beef, well done beef, and two extra large oxtails right here. See that? Usually the composition of the bowl is a bit different, but that's why you see it loaded with meat. Because I'm a carnivore. <laughs> this is my favorite right here. You guys never had this? You guys are missing out on real pho. It is oxtail. It's too hot, Mmm. If it's not salty, get a fish sauce. My mom said if you want more salty, add fish sauce, but I actually don't like my pho too salty. I gotta keep the blood pressure down. What I like to do for me is a little bit of hoisin sauce, sriracha. Mix it up like this. And then I dip it. Dip it in here. Mm. Give the meat a little flavor. How you? This oxtail is really juicy, very fatty, loaded in fat, so it doesn't need extra flavor. But yeah, you just dip it in the broth, soak up that beefy noodle broth. Mm hmm. And just. Mm -hmm. Depending on how long you do this, the meat gets more tender and just falls off the bone. Since we just cooked this, this is a little bit less tender, but still, it's fire. Mm -hmm. Gotta go in on this oxtail. Can't leave it to waste. Me another ox tower right here. Yum. And throw it in, soak it in the broth. You know what? We're gonna finish it. This bone looks almost finished, but my mom gets mad if I don't clean it, so I'm gonna have to clean it. <laughs> so I'm pretty full, guys. That is the end of this mukbang. All right guys, so I'm stuffed. That was a, a huge bowl of pho, a lot of meat, and it's been 15 minutes later, so I'm feeling even more full. So what happens when you eat pho, the rice noodle expands in your stomach, and right now I'm just super stuffed. But uh, anyways, it was good. Um, let me know how you guys like that type of content down below, the home-cooked mukbangs. 
If you guys want to see more of those, like this video and subscribe for more food vlogs. Deuces. Wow. I'm so handsome. Hey, surprise when they see him.